Donna, oh yes, please. Donna Wilde on tenor. Heather Baldwin on alto. And I'm David Felton on soprano. We hope that in the short amount of time we have with you tonight, that we're able to show you, to demonstrate that even a classic vaudeville song like this is worth so much more than just entertainment. This is Alabama Jazz Bow Band from 1918. Thank you. Um, as, as education budgets begin to be tightened, it often seems that music is deemed one of those expendable luxuries, despite the fact that studies have shown that children who study music excel in every other area of study. In fact, research has shown that compared to students who don't study music, students who are in band, in orchestra, or in choir have SAT scores that are 63 points higher on the verbal and an average of 44 points higher on the math skills. Now, one of the ways that music benefits people is also through this thing called spatial intelligence. Spatial intelligence. And it promotes creative thinking and it promotes success in higher level math skills. Now, there's a, a, there are a couple of passages in the next piece we're paying, playing that demonstrate that spatial intelligence. And I'm going to help you out because it's called a hemiola. Hemiola, that's what it's called. It's not a blood disease. It is a musical, uh, a musical event. And what it means is if you'll clap with me, it means the beat is in four. But the music is in three. over the top. And so what it's like is it forces you to hold two different ideas in your head at the same time, four at once. And you hear it all the time in music. We're going to demonstrate just a little bit so you can listen for it in the next song. This is what it sounds like. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> All right, so if you will uh, just practice your spatial intelligence and listen for the hemiolas in this song, this is called Taking a Chance on Love, which, by the way, in 1940, broke the race barrier on Broadway. This was the first ever musical to have an all-black cast. 1940, Taking a Chance on Love.
Another benefit of music is how the role of, of physics comes into play. I'm talking harmonics, overtones, uh, sound waves themselves, and those can all be leveraged to affect our emotional state. Uh, Claude Debussy was a master at this. And in this next song, he put the song, he put the musicians into a key that has been associated for over 2,000 years with both calm and melancholy. And the person that first identified that association was none other than Pythagoras. And so there is that math and music connection again. They were able to connect these ideas together. It's also been shown that certain keys are affiliated with or associated with certain colors. And the key that this song is placed in is associated with the color blue, a dark blue. This was written during the Impressionist era. We have an Impressionist painting up on the screen. And so as we play Beaussoir, which means good evening, just sit back, close your eyes, and see if you can hear the color blue.
so much.